Hey, what's going on guys and gals and welcome back to yet again another bad business video. As you can see here, I have a brand new mic. I don't really know if I'm going to be using this thing uh, too much. It's just kind of to test out the quality of this thing. So if I don't really like it, I might just send it back. But yeah, I'm going to end up getting like a pop filter for this thing. So a lot of the, so a lot of the pops that you hear from like my P's and B's and all that stuff will probably be gone. Yeah, I'll try and make sure that it's not that annoying. But anyways, in today's video, we have here the best Honey Badger setup in my humble opinion. The setup goes like this. Coyote Sight, Marksman Barrel, 40 round mag, extended stock. That's all the attachments I use. Now I do quickly want to give a little disclaimer here. I also alternate between Coyote Sight and Lightweight or Sleight of Hand, depending on how I'm feeling. Sometimes even Steady Shot. But for the most part, I kind of just keep this the kind of the way it is. I kind of like the, uh, I really do love the irons on the honey badger. I really, really do. But sometimes I just can't aim. So I have to just put on the uh, the coyote sight. And especially when I'm recording, like my aim just goes to crap. I really don't know why. It's like, I think I know that I'm recording. So my body's just like, hey bro, let's just do completely buttons today. But yeah, regardless, let's get straight into this video. I want to go ahead and just showcase this gun or what it can do. Also, if you guys like this mic, let me know down in the comments. I really want to know if this is a good mic or not. Oh my god, what a beam, bro. Holy crap. We are also using the Magnum as a secondary. Um, it is a hip fire setup. Probably the best kind of setups for that gun is the hip fire setup. So you should go ahead and use a hip fire setup on the Magnum because if you're not using a hip fire setup, then you're using the Magnum kind of wrong. Not going to lie to you, man. Here's the thing. I'm not going to lie. I really do love the default rounds that the Honey Badger comes with. It just feels like the best on this gun. But dude, when you get used to the head hunter and you actually start aiming for the head and just getting a bunch of headshots, dude, this thing can literally be just like so good. It's ridiculous. I honestly don't even know why nobody really even uses the uh, the headhunter I think it just because it increases recoil a bit but I think when you get the recoil kind of down packed it should be fine dude that range on the hip fire is actually no way I killed this kid no way oh my god dude, there's no way this thing can actually hit from that far away dude it's actually kind of insane beamed beamed oh my god oh Aaron thanks for supporting the channel man Beamed. I'm really weird to say that because my name is Aaron, so it's like I'm talking to myself. Let's see if I can beam this kid. Yeah, I kind of missed my shots. Oh my god, bro. Please do not peek around this corner. What are you doing? That's literally a death sentence, man. Peeking around the corner with me having this headhunter honey badger is literally a death sentence, bro. Don't you, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Got you. Bro, this kid is a whole week late and said, let's go, honey badger revamp. Got him. Got you. Jesus, man. This thing beams. Got you. Let's go ahead and heal up. Oh my god, get beamed, bro. Got you. Got you. But yeah, over this weekend, we are finally getting my room kind of done. Finally, man. It actually took such a bit of time to, you know, actually get my room kind of done. Right now, all we're trying to do is just get the floor done and get the, uh, I think the moldings done and then paint the room. But leave a comment down below. What do you guys think I should paint my room as well? Let me know what you think of the mic and let me know if you guys think I, what color I should paint my room. Better not get like a comment like telling me to paint my room pink or something, dude, because I will actually cry. Beamed them. Oh my god, dude. That was the last couple bullets, too. Got him. I will say, out of the two most recent revamps to come out, like, no disrespect to the Honey Badger and all, but the Magnum, dude, this thing outshined the Honey Badger tenfold. Yeah, almost no one has made a video on it. I mean, look how good this thing is from a distance, bro. Like, this thing's gonna get nerfed. Like, there's no way. Yeah, like, look at that's gonna get nerfed, bro. They're gonna have to nerf that. If they don't nerf it, I would literally be so surprised because I'm literally playing CSGO. You guys play CS whenever they added the R8 revolver. Remember how all the matches were literally just the R8 revolver for, like, I think a couple days? or like a day or whatever it's been a while since that happened so i don't really remember too much that's literally the vibes this is giving me right now like it's literally just r8 revolver simulator so i ain't gonna lie man i'm not even that mad at it. this thing dude this thing can literally beam from a distance it's actually ridiculous man build you uh oh i'm gonna heal are you there oh there's gonna be a lot of people over here hold on Dude, why do you look this way? Like, you literally just spawned in. Like, what is that? 
and I'm probably gonna die now. With my setup videos, like, these best setups aren't really, like, the best setups that you could possibly get because, you know, it's different for each person. Like, these setups only work for me, and some setups may only work for you, you know? But I do these videos because people always ask me about what my setups are and what setups I use on my guns, so, you know, I like doing these videos just for people that, like, you know to know my setups plus it actually gives you a baseline setup to kind of go off of so like you can like use my setup for a while and then change what you don't like on it and you know there you go now you got yourself a good setup that's another reason why i like doing these types of videos because they actually kind of help me i know whenever i was playing call of duty i loved watching like the best sort of setups to use on a gun or you know the best sort of setups just in general just to see like what i think would be good what things i could change to make it you know my own setup but i just wanted to get that out of the way so everyone understands what i'm saying when i have the best setup as the title or something you know like i have to preface that every single best setup video you guys can go ahead and comment your setups like what do you guys personally use on your badger like i want to know like maybe on my stream the next time i stream i'll go ahead and use that oh, i beamed that kid from like what the heck i didn't even do anything you're dead that was really delayed i'm in a 200 ping server 100 yep 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 that makes a lot of sense oh my god get destroyed bro bro i was about to say i was like why is my knife so delayed trust me guys it's definitely worth trying to get used to the headhunter one i am not even kidding nothing will satisfy me more than getting a bunch of headshots in a row with the freaking automatic gun man we're well, getting some feeds with a sniper is pretty satisfying not gonna lie man not gonna lie yeah i think i do want to go ahead and talk about this for a little bit as you could probably notice from my last upload just in case you missed it go ahead and watch it it was a ppsh video on aim blocks believe it or not back to uploading some aim blocks on the channel and for Friday, I got a surprise for you all. We got the first Apocalypse Rising 2 video coming out. I'm so excited for you guys to watch that video. Even if you've never heard of Apocalypse Rising or you're not a fan of Apocalypse Rising, please do check out the video regardless because I feel like you would actually genuinely enjoy that video because it's a completely different editing style than what I'm used to. Like I definitely edited that video a lot different and it actually feels like a completely different YouTuber. I promise you, if you watch that video, you'll have a different experience from every other video. It's not me just sitting there making just commentary and stuff like it there actually is like a whole thing behind it it's actually really cool i definitely want to do more apoc videos so i think i'm definitely going to so yeah there is a change coming to the channel there's going to be more variety roblox games and i'm really excited to do that because i've been wanting to do that for a while now and i feel like i've always been putting it off because i kind of wanted to just do bad business because it's what is like my main thing i guess like, i know a lot of you guys want to watch bad business and stuff but i can't force myself to play this game that much more you know I still do want to upload this game it's not like i'm not going to upload this game or anything i'll just have fewer uploads on this game and i'll have more uploads on other games and stuff just kind of trying to expand my content some of you may like that decision some of you may hate that decision but at the end of the day it's a decision that i'm making for me and for me to actually be happy because at the end of the day youtube isn't really a job for me it's just literally something i do on the side something Thing i have a hobby for and something i have a passion i feel like me spamming the same game talking about the same stuff having the same gameplay over and over and over and over and over again it's a little repetitive and a little boring i want to shake things up and you know start doing different games and stuff like that and right now apoc has kind of been the game that i've been enjoying a lot more than any other game right now which like i said is not the end of bad business content bad business is here to stay don't worry yeah i'm also thinking about doing some apoc videos with petrify if petrify wants to do some videos you know me and him will do some videos together but regardless ladies and gentlemen i hope you all did enjoy today's video and if you did please be sure to smack that like button down below it lets me know that you all do enjoy and do want more content like this and if you haven't already go check out my last video it was on aim blocks and i had a blast editing it and putting it all together it's a very good video trust me i also kind of upped the camera quality if you guys haven't noticed that already i forgot to mention that during this video i changed my camera quality and i also changed my mic yeah big things are coming to do some variety roblox stuff and uh yeah i cannot wait anyways guys and gals I hope you all did enjoy, like I said, and I will talk to all you beautiful, beautiful people on the next one. Later. Peace.